everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the msteam.exe bad image teams error in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to repair or reset Microsoft Teams. To do this press the Windows button then simply select the settings icon and then on the left pane make sure to click on the apps section and then on the right side click on apps and features. Now in here under the app list simply click on the search box and type Teams. Now go to the results and locate Microsoft Teams and then click on the ellipsis next to it and select advanced options. In here just scroll down until you find the reset section and you can start by pressing on the repair button. In this case the app's data won't be affected at all. But if this step doesn't work properly you can also choose to reset Microsoft Teams. So click on the reset button but in this case you will see that the app's data will be deleted and everything will return to the default state. Afterwards you can just restart your PC and then you can check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to uninstall and reinstall Microsoft Teams. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane make sure to click on the apps category and then on the right side click on apps and features. Again under the app list make sure to click on the search box and then simply type Teams and afterwards locate Microsoft Teams in the search result. Then just click on the ellipsis next to it and select the uninstall option. Afterwards just proceed with the on-screen instructions to uninstall Microsoft Teams and then restart your PC. You can then reinstall Microsoft Teams and check if the issue is solved. You can also create a new user account. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and then on the left pane make sure to click on the account section and afterwards on the right side click on family and other users. Now in here under the other users section you have an option called add other user so click on the blue add account button. What you have to do next is to click on I don't have this person sign in information link and lastly what you have to do is click on add a user without a Microsoft account. Now simply decide on adding a new username and then make sure to enter a password if you want to and lastly click on next. As you can see a new local account has been added and you can switch to it and check if the problem still persists. And lastly another great solution is to rename the Microsoft Teams folder. Firstly what you have to do is simply open a new file explorer window and then make sure to click on the view tab in the upper part of the window and hover over the show option and select hidden items. Now you have to navigate to the location of the Microsoft Teams folder. Usually it's in the C drive and afterwards make sure to double click program files and then scroll down until you find the Windows Apps folder. Now right click on it and select the properties option. The reason we're doing this is because we have to change the folder access permissions. So just head on to the security tab and afterwards make sure to click on the advanced button. Now in here in the owner section make sure to click on the blue change link and afterwards simply select the object types button. In here in the object types window make sure to click on users and afterwards click on ok to save the changes. Now simply enter your username or the administrator username if you're logged in with it and make sure to click on ok. Now the last thing you have to do is simply save the changes so click on apply and ok. Now you can close the Windows App Properties folder and make sure to double click on it to access it. The next step you have to do is simply scroll down until you see the folder Microsoft Teams or more folders named like that. So after you found the aforementioned folder simply right click on it and select the rename option and add at the end of the folder a dot old suffix. Then simply press on OK or Enter. As you can see the folder has already been renamed and you can do the following with all the Microsoft Teams folder listed in here. If you want to you can also choose to right click these folders and simply delete them. Then restart your PC and check if the issue still persists. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.